Today we are talking about whether it's too late to buy Palantir stock. For more news updates on Palantir, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get right into the video. Palantir Technology stock has experienced a remarkable rally of nearly 70% over the past 12 months. This surge has been driven by the data mining and analytics company's impressive sales growth, expanding profit margins and increasing profits. The heightened interest in artificial intelligence stocks further fueled its gains. However, after this year-long rally, Palantir shares appear somewhat overvalued, trading at 182 times forward earnings and 24 times this year's sales. Palantir's two primary platforms, Gotham for government clients and Foundry for commercial clients, gather data from various sources. This data is then processed through artificial intelligence-powered algorithms to aid clients in making more informed decisions. The company's government division already serves most United States government agencies, with its platform reportedly utilized in the hunt for Osama bin Laden in 2011. On the commercial side, Palantir serves major multinational corporations such as Morgan Stanley, Airbus, United Airlines, and BP. When Palantir went public through a direct listing in September 2020, its stock did not soar from its opening price of $10. Instead, it initially dropped below that level as investors worried about its heavy reliance on rigid government contracts, competition in the enterprise market, and lack of profits. However, the stock subsequently surged to a record high of $39 on January 27, 2021 during the buying frenzy in growth and meme stocks. At that time, growth-oriented investors were impressed by Palantir's ambition to increase its its annual revenue by at least 30% through 2025. The company's revenue grew by 41% in 2021, but the growth rate slowed to 24% in 2022 and 17% in 2023. This deceleration mainly attributed to inconsistent government contracts and macroeconomic challenges for its commercial clients caused the stock to plummet to an all-time low of $6 per share on December 27, 2022. Investors who purchased Palantir at the end of 2022 have since seen a 355% gain over the past 18 months. The renewed interest in Palantir was driven by two key factors, accelerating revenue growth and soaring profits. The company's government business rebounded with new contracts while the rapid growth of its United States commercial business compensated for slower international expansion. The introduction of new artificial intelligence tools over the past year likely provided additional support. As Palantir's revenue growth accelerated, it managed to reduce its operating expenses and stock-based compensation, thereby boosting its generally accepted accounting principles profits. This financial discipline has allowed Palantir to remain profitable on a generally accepted accounting principles basis for the past six consecutive quarters, with expectations to continue this trend in the foreseeable future. In 2024, Palantir anticipates its revenue will grow by 20 to 21 percent. From 2023 to 2026, analysts project its revenue will increase at a compound annual growth rate of 20 percent, with its generally accepted accounting principles earnings per share rising at a compound annual growth rate of 56 percent. If Palantir maintains its current valuation and meets Wall Street's expectations, its stock could more than double by 2026. However, maintaining such high valuation multiples could be challenging for Palantir due to several unpredictable factors. First, more United States government agencies might develop their own data mining programs to replace Gotham. For instance, United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement has been testing its platform called Raven, and other government agencies might follow suit. If this trend continues, Palantir might need to reconsider its goal of becoming the default operating system of data across the United States government. Second, Palantir faces stiff competition from other data mining companies such as Salesforce and Alteryx in the crowded commercial analytics market. Additionally, cloud infrastructure giants like Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure could introduce similar tools. While Palantir continues to leverage its strong reputation to expand into the enterprise market, its current valuation seems inflated due to the bullish enthusiasm for most artificial intelligence-related stocks. Palantir stands to benefit from the ongoing expansion of the artificial intelligence market. However, it should not be grouped with higher growth artificial intelligence companies like Nvidia and Supermicro Computer. As an investor who previously bought Palantir at around $10 and sold it in the low 30s, I believe it is wiser to avoid Palantir for now and focus on more reasonably valued growth stocks in this volatile market. In the end, Palantir Technologies has seen a significant stock rally due to its impressive sales growth and increased interest in artificial intelligence stocks. Despite a strong performance and a positive outlook, the company faces challenges from government agencies potentially developing their own platforms and stiff competition in the commercial analytics market. Given its current high valuation, it may be prudent for investors to consider other growth stocks with more reasonable valuations. 
For more news updates on Palantir, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.